two guys with messed up legs. But first, please help my humble channel to grow. Like, subscribe, share, comment, any combination thereof. Because you're beautiful on the inside and on the outside. So yeah, I had this situation with these two guys had really messed up legs. They worked at this store. The target at the store was something else. I no longer go to that store. But one of the two guys, I saw him. He looked like he was doing better. I was very loving. The Lord made me start to be very loving to these folks. And I said, well, you're not wearing a cast on your foot. He had been wearing a Velcro type of a cast on his foot for months. Months and months and months. And I said, I'm glad to see that your, your, your foot's doing better. And he told me, oh, yeah, my, no, it's, he said, no, it actually isn't better. He said, about a year ago, I broke my, a bone in my foot and it really never healed. And I needed that cast to help me to be able to walk around. He said, it's still a problem, but I'm just not wearing the cast. But he said it wasn't healed. And I thought, oh, wow. So he, his leg, he, his, the, the foot in his, the, the bone in his foot got broke about six months after he started targeting me when I would go to that store. And there was another guy, similar situation. Now, this guy was, ugh. He'd be wearing a mask, and he would be calling me anti-gay slurs under the mask. And then he, in front of people, and then he would, loud enough for me to hear, then a little bit louder, he'd say, hi, how are you? Just to try to get me to start cussing him out and flipping out. And then him and all the other agents in the store could point their fingers at me and call the police and maybe try to get into a fight, a physical altercation with me or whatever. The Lord didn't allow me to take that bait. So I never responded to him calling me anti-gay slurs. But once I became loving with this man, he just, he stopped doing it. I would smile and be friendly because the Lord just, he carries the burden of that. The angst, the hurt, the anger, the Lord took all of that on him. So I was able to be loving to that guy. And, and because of the Lord, he responded to that and he stopped doing a lot of that stuff. I remember one day he saw me walk in and I just kind of gave him a big smile and he kind of rolled his eyes and turned around and didn't bother approaching me or anything like that. He was headed right towards me. So I thought that's interesting. His foot was messed up as well and he could barely walk. Both of these two guys limping around and they were two of the guys who targeted me most intensely uh, or certainly more intensely at that store. And that was God's judgment on them. God bless.